Hey guys, it's GTP News for Gamers. GTP News for Gamers here coming at you with another pickup video. So, I had to get a tooth filled last week. That wasn't fun. But, on the way back from the Dollarama, next to the dentist's office, I found these two Bandai anime DVDs. Ayate, the Combat Butler, and Lucky Star. Um, Lucky Star is one of those slice of life animes, and it's been really popular all over the, everywhere I've looked at it, so... Uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. You know, just for two bucks, why not? And Hiyati the Combat Butler, I've heard a lot about it on TV Tropes. So I figured, you know what? Two bucks, I'll give it a shot. And these are both Bandai animes. So, you know, Bandai's, I guess, selling off most of their stuff to discount retailers since they've gone out of business with the anime section, not the toy section. Don't worry, Power Ranger fans. So, yeah. It's nice to see that, um, uh, nice to see the DVDs from Bandai showing up, and I'll scoop them up whenever I can. Now, next big event was, uh, yesterday, 50% off at the local thrift, and I went down there with my mom and picked up a whole bunch of stuff. She bought these for me, and these were in the display case, they weren't 50% off, unfortunately. But they're Mega Man Battle Network Battle Chips, and... For those of you who don't remember Battle Network, it was a Mega Man series on the GBA in the 2000s. Introduced me to Mega Man, and it had an anime to go along with it and a toy line. And these were part of the uh, special toy line. So this is the Spreader chip. Energy Bomb chip. Stealth Mine chip. Thunderbolt chip. And the Boys Bomb 1 chip. So those are really cool. It was very nice of her to get those for me, and I was I gave her a big hug. Really, I, I always give her a big hug when, whenever, but you know, it's especially a big hug when she finds cool stuff, because she's always thinking of me. She's an awesome mom. Uh, next up were some Power Ranger toys. They were two fifty a piece in these boxes, and since they were fifty percent off, came to like a dollar something. Uh, so we have the Black Wild Force Ranger. He's able to turn into his. Uh, Bison Zord, or his Bull Zord, whatever you want to call it. I always called it the Bison Zord as a kid, because Manitoba. And that's pretty cool. Wild Force, one of my favorite seasons. The Ninja Storm Yellow Ranger. He turns into, like, this Gatling Gun Bear Zord thing. Pretty cool. He's missing his uh, right hand, though, which kind of sucks, and one of his claw armor pieces, but you know what? Okay. Uh, and finally, Ninja Storm... Crimson Thunder Ranger. Uh, always loved the Thunder Rangers on Ninja Storm back in the day. He transforms into like this weird, um, angry, like, anime bird Zord based on the face back here. And uh, his foot kind of fell apart when I got him out of the box because one of the screws is loose. So I'm just going to fix him up, get him back to normal. Making sure I don't lose the screw because it's sitting somewhere on my bed right now. Found this. It's a Phoenix Mighty Bean. Remember Mighty Beans? That, that, those were a thing in uh, like 2005, I think. Uh, I've been collecting DC and Marvel ones, so this is a nice little addition to the collection. I don't think I have that one. 30 cents. Goofy Pals! Uh -huh. logic, logic, logic. So that was cool. Uh, <clears throat> a little bag for 80 cents. A couple of Beware the Batman. McDonald's toys from, I think, earlier this year? Possibly. I don't know. Uh, this is a missile firing Batman. You can turn his head here and there. His arm moves up and down. That's about it. Don't have the missile. But that's okay. And this is the Batmobile, or Batpod, Batcycle, whatever, Batman. All you gotta do is pull down the cape and... Pretty cool. Uh... A dollar, this was still in the box, but it's out of the box. It was, uh, it had no real name on it. It just said free toy with purchase on the box. So I'm like, okay. Uh, it appears to be one of the infamous knockoff Transformers. I can't tell what mold they sold this from or if this is an original. It has two heads. I'll just demonstrate here. Uh, he reminds me of Bone Crusher from the first movie. So I'm just going to call him Sm Skull Smasher from now on. Uh, picked up a four pack of Beyblades. Old school Beyblades, not new school. Those will be in the next video. <laughs> uh, 
Drigger, raise Beyblade. Another Drigger with a bit of sticker damage. Raise Beyblade again. I think I have like three or four Driggers now. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, this one, I believe Knight Dronzer. Sticker's really hard to see on camera because it's a bit, a bit torn up, but and the name is in Japanese, but I know, I'm pretty sure that's Knight Dronzer. And this one has no bit chip, so I don't know what it is. I'll just, it's generic Beyblade. It's cool. I like it. Green, orange, yellow. That's one of the cool things about those toys. They were such interesting colors. Uh, came with the launchers. Don't know how to position my hands on camera, apparently. And the rip cords. And this is uh, for you, Lester, of Thrift Blowers, buddy. I know you're a big CD collector. Uh, shout out to Thrift Blowers. Uh, paint the Sky with Stars, the best of Enya. Friend turned me on to Enya years ago, and I really like the music. It's very uh, soulful, very relaxing, and enjoyable. And to get this CD for a buck, and it's in great condition. has this cool star pattern on it. I'm not going to complain. This was also a dollar. <laughs> can't believe I found this. I haven't seen this cartoon in years. Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of the Crystal Coconut, the feature-length adventure. Uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, you guess, had a cartoon, a CG cartoon, just like the game in the 90s from Nirvana, same company who produced Care Bears and Horse Beyblade, and Rock and Rule, for those of you who haven't seen that, that's like their one piece of adult animation. A yellow clamshell to match like the yellow theme of Donkey Kong that's really cool. And uh, speaking of which, DK's hanging out on the uh, poster, on the counter back there, so that's kind of ironic that I'm finding a DK tape on the month that DK's on the calendar. But okay. You know, these things happen. I found some Pokemon cards. Uh, two there. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the ones randomly. Uh, Caterpie. Uh, uh, Nidoran. Energy Search. That's a good card. Eradicate. Gambor, one of my personal favorites. And, uh, Pikachu! Very nice. A lot of old school cards in there. Some from the Diamond and Pearl era. It also came with the Diamond and Pearl rule book. So this is like my second copy of this. And two posters, believe it or not, from the GBA era. These are really cool. These are going up on my walls eventually when I find room. Uh, Here's one for Pokemon Emerald. Very nice illustration of Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza fighting there. And this one is, I believe, or yes, the remakes of the first generation games uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Very nice. I'd like to get those, but they're $35 just with the cartridges. Insane prices! Uh, also picked up some Yu Gi Oh cards. There, uh, this is another copy of the version 5.0 original rulebook. Official rulebook, sorry. And uh, a lot of these cards I already have, and a lot of them are kind of beat up, but they're still pretty good. And But the one that I was most excited to find, where is it, 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 come on. Ah, here it is. Elegant Egotist. It's a rare from the Metal Raider set, and it's needed to summon the Harpy Lady Sisters card. Which is a pretty powerful card in and of its own, and it's kind of iconic from the anime. And this is a this is actually a pretty it's a it's a it's a fake card, but it's a convincing fake, and it's hollow foil all over. That's how you can tell. And the font on the top is off. Thousand Dragon. I almost thought it was real for a minute. I'm like, oh, ooh, another Thousand Dragon. Oh wait, something's off. And I also picked up some a couple of packs of random cards that were just sitting there. Uh, some marble playing cards, a human torch, uh, some one of the overpower marble cards, Magneto, uh, X Force Ultra Fleer cards, there's Boomer, and uh, these are Death of. Oh no, wait, that's that's Starhawk, another marble card. These are Death of Superman trading cards. I didn't even know these existed until. You know what? That's cool. And uh, these are Marvel Fleer trading cards from the 90s. Very nice artwork. And there's also a random uh, 
Batman Forever movie card in there, and that's cool. And so that does it. It was definitely a good day, wonderful shopping day, and I'll see you guys next time.